Hi, my name's Rob, I'm from Active Health Clinic. And today I wanted to talk about the autonomic nervous system. So um, when it comes to chronic pain, chronic fatigue, and orthostatic intolerance uh, type conditions, these are all linked to the body's autonomic nervous system and how it can become dysregulated. So I wanted to explain what the structure of the autonomic nervous system is because it's actually changed or the knowledge about it has changed over the past few years. So I'm actually going to draw it um, to just yeah make it fairly clear of what the structure looks like. So the autonomic nervous system is the name given to the part of our nervous system that we are not really in control of, we're not in conscious control of it. So this part of the nervous system is um, the thing that regulates our heartbeat, our digestion, um, our breathing, and all of the functions in our body that we don't really have to think about to control. So if you can think about if we had to consciously be aware of beating our heart all the time, that would get in the way of doing lots of other things and we couldn't really function properly. So our autonomic nervous system takes control of that thing as well as digestion and other things as well around the body. Um, so that is the overarching name of that part of the nervous system, the ANS for short. And this is broken up into a couple of different branches. So the first branch that I'll talk about is the sympathetic nervous system. So I'll just write S N S for short. So our sympathetic nervous system, that's that nervous system that comes alive in us when um, there is danger or a threat. So it's otherwise known as the fight flight nervous system. Um, you might be familiar with the feeling if you are driving on the road and someone suddenly cuts you off unexpectedly, you get that surge of energy or adrenaline. Um, you are suddenly extremely aware of what's going on around you. You might be gripping the steering wheel really tightly. You might be even feeling quite angry. That's all fight, flight, sympathetic um, energy going on. Um, so that's that one there. Then there is the parasympathetic branch. So PNS for sure. And that is was was known as the rest and digest branch of our nervous system. So that's when we're not stressed, when our sympathetic nervous system is not engaged. Um, and it's nicknamed rest and digest. So when we're just relaxed and our and our uh, digestive digestive functions um, pretty normally. And that's where we thought that the story ended. We thought that it was a very on and off sort of switch. You're either stressed or you're not stressed. Either you're in danger or you're not in danger. But recently there's been a bit more research around this to find that there's actually two branches of the parasympathetic nervous system. So this can be broken down into the ventral vagal. So I'm just gonna write VV for short. And I'll explain what that means in a moment. And then we've got dorsal vagal. So DV for short. So ventral just means towards the front. So anatomically, it's the front part of that nervous system and dorsal just means towards the back, so anatomically towards the back of that nervous system. And vagal is just referring to the name of the nerve, and vagus means wandering, it's actually the longest nerve in our, in our body. Um, the ventral vagal nerve, sorry, the ventral vagus nerve, that is, uh, that is known now as our safe and social part of the nervous system. That enables us to feel calm, feel at home in our bodies, feel connected to others, feeling, feel connected and engaged to our environment as well. So that is what is what we like to be active most of the time. But we've got this other branch, which is also part of that parasympathetic nervous system called the dorsal vagus. And that is a shutdown response. So that is the feeling often associated with the feeling of exhaustion or disconnection. Um, it's another survival response when fighting or fleeing doesn't really work. So that is just a very quick overview of our, pretty much from an anatomy perspective, what our nervous system is all about. Um, and I'm gonna do a series of videos <clears throat> um, about this, about this polyvagal theory, which I've just explained, um, and how it relates more so into pain and fatigue. 
So hopefully this video has been useful to you and uh, you've enjoyed it. And if you um, are interested in further videos, just check out our social media, um, yeah, other social media me medias around. <laughs>